Hey guys, Ms. Rupa here, and welcome to the classroom. So today we're also going to dive into another lesson on a beautiful sea creature, the sea turtle. So our first lesson for today was on the octopus, so I hope that you'll take a minute and go back and watch our mini lesson on the octopus. Um, but today, again, we're going to talk about the sea turtle. So green sea turtles are the world's largest species of hard shell turtles. They weigh in at about 300 to 400 pounds. God, that's huge. I love it. Um, they are reptiles and they are herbivores. So remember, carnivores, herbivores, omnivores. Herbivores just eat plants. Now, turtles actually have a very long lifespan, which um, they can live up to 80 years. And again, this also makes me think of a little bit of Finding Nemo. <laughs> So green sea turtles, 80 years is how long they can live up to. Um, they can be found in more than 80 countries with the largest nesting population being in Costa Rica and Australia. Um, they prefer to spend most of their lives underwater, but they do love sunbathing on land um, whenever possible. Um, scientists they believe that green foods, because sea turtles being herbivores, they do eat a lot of plants. So scientists believe that these green foods that are um, being eaten by the sea turtles helps them to retain that green color that we, we know, okay? So I thought that was a really cool fact that whatever an animal eats, that could possibly contribute to the color that they become. So, cool fact. <laughs> um, sea turtles are also known for their migration patterns. So they can travel long distances between um, their feeding grounds and also their nesting grounds. They can travel huge distances. Um, the first few years of a sea turtle's life out in the ocean is spent just floating, floating in the water and just eating that green sea plankton that's out there. Um, as they start to get a little bit older, the turtles start to move to shallower waters, okay, where they can find seagrass to eat. Now, when they are full-fledged adult sea turtles, they, honestly, this is the part where we need to be more careful with what we are doing because adult sea turtles, they face many, many threats. Since sea turtles um, like to hang out in the more shallow waters when they're adults, they face, face threats of boating, boats hitting, running over them, which is so sad. Um, fishing nets, um, sea turtles get caught in fishing nets all the time. Pollution that is floating above the water gets caught on them, that's very sad. And also they are being hunted, which is extremely sad. So this is one animal, and this is partially the reason I wanted to kind of do a little mini lesson on sea turtles, is because they are being, they are being hurt in so many ways that are mostly caused by humans, and there are things that we can fix, okay? so. Beautiful, beautiful sea turtles. We talked about the green sea turtle in particular today. Um, it is the world's largest species of hard shell turtle. Um, can be found all over the world, 80 different countries. Um, most of the, they can, their largest population is Costa Rica and Australia. Um, and again, they love spending time in those shallow waters, just kind of chilling and eating the sea, sea grass and plankton and also adult sea turtles uh, we need to be careful if we're at the beach boating along you know be careful with what we are doing because they are getting hurt by many things that we are doing um, so I hope that you will take a minute um, to look up more species of turtles because they're again there are a bunch and they're all very beautiful and have very special characteristics about each group um, so I hope that you enjoyed our lessons for today on the octopus and on the green sea turtle. And I hope that you will like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Learning with Ms. Rupa, to get updates on our videos.